They're bottling it. They are bottling it. Who? Newcastle? No, 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 not me. Guess who's bottling it? Go on, three guesses. Arsenal, correct. Yes. Arsenal are bottling it. And we might be the team to take advantage. Welcome back. And welcome back to Glory Hunter. Now, I would love to take the credit for Arsenal's collapse, but I can't really. They just aren't winning anymore. And that's making the league table look very, very interesting. After all that's gone on in this league campaign, Arsenal, of all the teams in all the world, despite being in the FA Cup final and the Europa League semis, appear to be bottling it. I am concerned that if they win those competitions, these European places will still go to them. But forget that for one moment, because things have got interesting. As you can see, they've lost recently to Brentford, Southampton, and Crystal Palace back to back, and that's made the league table look a little bit like this. I know. Now there's some issues still, right? And today, with four games left to go this season, I didn't think, I barely honest viewers, I didn't think I'd be back before the end of the year, but here we are. Because today's a big day, or this weekend's a big day, because Arsenal play Wolves, which can obviously be quite interesting just above us, and ourselves, we play away to Leicester City, who are also sort of chomping at the bit for, well, a top half finish. So, you know, they're basically ours from about two months ago. But something quite incredible has happened, viewers. Okay, and that, and that has led to the return of Newcastle United. Chris Wood. Uh, Chris, yes, he would. Yes, he has. Never mind Woody, he has. Let's run through the fixtures then since we last met and you'll start to understand what I mean. So we kick things off after the defeat to Arsenal with a 5-2 victory over West Ham United. Chris Wood scored a hat-trick. It's one of the worst goalkeeping displays I've ever seen in Football Manager throughout the whole game. He got a 7.8 though, Ariola. So, I mean, I can't, I don't, I there's been an update. Who knows? We then got a 1-1, one -one, a spirited 1-1 one -one result against Manchester City. You can see, though, they just stopped defending. So Alex and Maximin took advantage and scored a lovely goal on 49 minutes to make it 1-1. One -one. Everton were up next then. That was a Chris Wood double once again in a 3-0 win. That's what we're here for. Uh, before Chelsea beat us 4-2, there are some teams in this league that are just a bit better than us. And Chelsea appears to be, annoyingly, appears to be one of them. Chris Wood scored again, though. So, I mean, it's he's a machine. And then most recently, a 3-1 win over Nottingham Forest, where Andrew Omabamadeli gets a goal. His first for us since joining in January. Uh, yeah, so make it 3-1. But you can see, we always lose the big games. 4-2 to Chelsea, 5-1 to Arsenal, 4-1 to Liverpool, 2-1 to Wolves, and 3-2 to Leeds. All the big names. All the big names. Actually, I mean, in terms of letters, actually, some of the, sm some of the smallest names in the league. Um, not the point I'm making, but you get the drift. And ultimately, 10 games drawn. You look at the top 11 teams, no one's drawn more than that. I mean, Brentford have got nine, but, you know, you're not trying to compare yourselves to them. And even though United have drawn nine as well, they've only lost three times, where we've, we've lost we've lost ten times. Um, so, yeah. Liverpool twice. Arsenal, of course, in there. City beat us earlier this season. But the draws aren't too bad, and it's actually keeping us at least in the conversation in some really good draws. But like both draws against Manchester United. Arsenal was a draw earlier this season, unbelievably. A 2-2 two -two against Chelsea as well. So some of the games, not too bad. Some of the home games, not too bad. You'll notice the points we've picked up in draws at home to City, at home to Arsenal, at home to United, at home to Chelsea. So that seems to be a bit of a theme but Chris Woods as I say have been fantastic and the goal scoring in the team has been really interesting if you take a look at this graphic then you can see there that 12 goals for, for Alexander Isaac slow start though really in 28 starts like 12 goals it's not actually really enough so what we're really looking at is the goals per 90 and Chris Wood with 0.77 is fire motoring away from the rest of the pack then it's Callum Wilson just behind and then Isaac so it's a concern. It was a big, big signing, Isaac, for, for Newcastle. And is he going to be the guy? You saw some of the other goal scorers in there as well, of course. The likes of Sven Botman getting a few from the back, as well as Dan Burr. You know, we're trying to have that little focus on set pieces. And of course, the wide boys chip in now and again. Plenty of assists for those guys too. And McAllister from corners, seven assists for him. Really, really nice. But yeah, we, we definitely need to do a little bit more in the forward areas. And that's been our big issue this season. Only... We've only scored 49 goals, do you know, and, and, and quite a few teams have done that. Again, Leicester, who we played today, they've also got 49. So defensively, we've been pretty good, but we've got to get into sort of the 80 realm. That's where I want to be, just powering through. If we, if we win 4-3 every game, I'm happy. So to help that today, Chris Wood starts. 
The story of Chris Woods has been, do you know what? Fair play to Chris Woods. I've been looking for a Danny Gray replacement. I've been looking high and low and I've not found them. And I think maybe Chris Wood at the age of 31, for the next few years, Chris, we could be seeing a, a lot of each other. Considering the slander I put on his name, what a, what a comeback. Team-wise, for the games today then, we have Nick Pope in goal, Trippier, Omababa Deli, and Burn as the, the centre-back pairing. Target, of course, the left-back as always. Gamares then, in the deeper role, and really enjoying the energy of Declan Rice. So he goes into the central areas with McAllister. Of course, still playing Sam Maximin up on that left-hand side with Chris Wood through the middle. And Alexander Isaac is our man up top. Callum Wilson's had a big injury recently, so hasn't played as much. So Isaac has had the opportunity to play on the right-hand side. And it's meant that Chris Wood then is now our target forward support and a monster. So let's see how the monster does today. And I won't lie to you viewers. Um, I'm, if this doesn't go well, then... <laughs> All hope really is lost, isn't it? Uh, hope's been lost for ages. Oh, just when we thought you weren't here. <laughs> it's good to have him back. Again, folks, as ever, thank you so much for the support of the series so far. Um, yeah, keep liking the videos. Sorry there wasn't a video yesterday. We were very close, but not quite. I think I said, it's, I said it was my fault. I said it too high. Uh, as a result, though, I promise you five Glory Hunter videos this week. How's that? That's a deal, isn't it? That's a deal. And of course, worth mentioning, uh, I'm live most most days on Twitch as well, over at twitch.tv slash Dr. Benji, playing football manager. I've just gone to AC Milan and the Journeyman series and it's fun. It's taken me 10 years of being in Latvia, Slovakia, Romania, and Croatia to suddenly get to there, but it's been good. Of course, James Madison lines up for, New for Leicester today. Could have been lined up for Newcastle had we signed him, but we didn't. They've got Vardy on the left, Madison on the right, and Iheanacho through the middle, and it's Jamie Vardy, who's still far, far too good in Football Manager. I'll have to check the update as he uh, tries to play a ball th forwards. As I'm saying there, he nearly scores a goal. But yeah, it has been unbelievable on FM for many years now. See, some of you might not look at Jamie Vardy very often. That's daft, isn't it? I mean, pardon? For those that are fans of the look back, you know I've got an agenda against Jamie Vardy and it's not, it's not finished today. Just the one goal in 25 appearances this season. Admittedly quite a few off the bench, but we're not. Do I'm, not I'm not trying to be fair here, so... Trippier then free kick to be floated in with Isaac there and the massive Chris Woods were a lot more dangerous. We actually are quite a big team now from the centre backs that we've got, of course, to the two forward boys. Everyone's around and over six foot three, so it really does work out for us. This game so far, though, has been quite tepid from us. Our away form has been one of the bigger issues. Again, not necessarily an issue of not, I'll tell you what, if he's onside, which I hope he is, he's done it again, viewers. The ball played forward to him unconventionally. It's a cross from the playmaker position. Is that going to be a goal for Newcastle United? No, but it, I mean, it could have been. And that's the moment we live for. Let's take a look at this again. How far offside is Chris Woods? Okay, Chris, we are going to tell you what. He really is the next Daddy Graham. It's a lovely header, though. It's nice that he gets himself in those positions, though, isn't it? Uh, we've got some more balanced approach, especially away from home. Uh, lots of you pointing out. Lots of you just don't think I'm trying. So you must be new. You have to be new. Also, I don't think losing to Arsenal is evidence of me just not trying. Like, they are they are good. Or they're better than Newcastle. Anyway, Leicester come forwards. Um, now, they're not necessarily as good. The problem is, yeah, but the thing is, they're not as good as Newcastle. Now, it doesn't look like I'm trying. It's James Madison as well, isn't it? So, to be fair... I should have done something about this. You know, it's my it's my fault that my defenders have played James Madison in there. You stupid. You tactically got that wrong, you idiot. You stupid idiot. When will I learn? If they give me a controller, it'd be well easier. All right, not a good half on any on any state of anything. I mean, we've done nothing. And to be honest, folks, I'm looking for a little bit more out of Chris Wood. We'll go back to positive, you know, because we're losing. So naturally, positive now. Of course, Dan Juma could come on on one side, but I'm, 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 for now, I'm going to trust in the boys. And Kamara's has looked a little bit more better playmaking, so him and Rice, I'm just going to switch them over. It's quite a simple move. And at what point does Sven Botman come on and embarrass me again? Because Dan Burns on a booking. It's pretty soon, I reckon. Also, they came on that left-hand side again, and that probably solves that. But we are sort of taking that risk-reward. We know that that's going to happen on that side because we're leaving a big gap there in trying to exploit other areas, right? So it's... That's football. Sometimes you leave yourselves open somewhere to try and create overloads elsewhere. That... You know, here's Gamares then anyway. Uh, apparently, Gamares Gimar apparently is how you say it, but I've, I've sort of nailed on Gamares. And at that point, it's sort of done, viewers. As, again, if you're new, I can only apologise. Trippier, to play the ball in, I hope. Well, him and Jamie Vardy are just having a chat for over there for now. Um, busy this weekend? No, mate, you get up so much? No, not really. Anyway, ball's played back to Gamares. Oh, my God, that's a, a brilliant effort, regardless of his name. 
All right, I'm getting Sven Botman on just because Dan Byrne petrifies me. And Alex St. Maximin's been pretty quiet, so Dan Juma's coming on. I'm not going to take off Chris Woods because, as we've seen from the stats viewers, he is our most prolific striker. So we continue. But everyone's having quite a poor game, including Chris Woods. All right, let's play a lot quicker then. Let's start passing it into space and let's start mixing up our crossing a little bit while playing for set pieces. We're a big team. Let's start making a bit more use of that with 15 minutes to go. This is going to be another away game where we look impotent which is really annoying and it's not the games against arsenal the th oh, you see it's just gone it just ebbed away I, there was nothing to get excited about there so I'm, gr I'm glad you were here for it viewers i hope you enjoyed it i'm not happy with your performance out there is that is that is that is that killed off the dream all right the problem we've got now is we've played a game more and wolves and arsenal play each other so unless they draw that's not great for us we're gonna play brentford after this so don't just don't you think oh god i don't want all the excitement to be gone during the leicester game oh no no no, no. we've got a week to go and we've got to keep an eye is the arsenal collapse continuing i tell you now if they win this has been one of the most embarrassing episodes since the last one well i'm here actually so of course arsenal win all right there's no there shouldn't be any doubt in that should there probably not no so we just there, here, here it comes. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, 1 0. Yeah, Gabby Zeus. Yeah, no, no, not 1 in 3. So, no, it's one of those things, isn't it? Bit annoying, really. So, that's the dream over, I reckon. Five ways you look all right, bro. Yeah, they have. They made me look ridiculous. So, fourth time, I reckon, this year. Yeah, fourth time. It's tough to do as well. I'll tell you what, when I'm managing Arsenal in about 18 years' time, That'll be bittersweet when Newcastle win the league. All right, I'm going to see you in a week's time. We're going to play Brentford to try and regain some credibility. Welcome to Credibility Hour with me, Dr. Benji FM. Even I don't believe it. The nice, the, do you know how much gusto I put into that? Even I don't believe it, viewers. The only good thing to come of this is that the board and the supporters don't hate me quite as much. So they're waiting to see how we get on against Sunderland, who aren't in this league. But we're not going to lose to them, are we? So... <laughs> There's one thing that's for certain. Oh, I just noticed that Fulham got relegated. And this will be bad news for Chris Wood after everything I've said. But Mitrovic, that might be something we try and do now. With his, with, with his six goals in 32. I mean, he's fit right in here as well, underperforming. Anyway, how are you? Good? Good weekend? Yeah, everything everything all right? I hope so. Yeah. Um, football was on. Any football happened this week? Oh, I can't remember. There was a big game, wasn't there? A big game between two big teams. And there was a winner and a loser. And I'll let you fill in the gaps, cheers. <laughs> Oh dear, love football, mate. Bring back the look back. I nearly did for this week. Nearly did. Do you know what the problem is now? I'm in a world where this, <laughs> and you're not in this world. Well, you know this. You know this tactic that I keep persevering with and keep playing. This is you. You won't believe this, viewers. When this comes out of my mouth, you're going to go, "What? Yeah, I've seen it work. I know. I know. So have you, actually, for sort of like half at a time, and then it falls apart. All right, McAllister, central midfielder on attack. I've missed it. So we're going to play it. Chris Woods. Piling forward as well. It's a home game against Brentford, so not balanced. Let's start positive and let's try and do something. Do you know what, Maximin? Get on attack as well. Let's just let's go for broke a little bit. Let's blow him out the water. Come on. I'm not looking. Look, let me cards on the table. Time. I'm not looking to win this one nil. I'm looking to win this four nil. That's that's the prediction. Four nil. Right? What do, what do you reckon? Straight for one one after being dominated all game. Why? Back me one time. There was also evidence to do so then, eh? It's a it's a value yeah i mean how can you argue with that elsewhere then arsenal don't play till tomorrow and wolves won which puts us a little way behind them it would take again a mammoth recovery now for us to get into europe but again english teams winning european competitions could help in the end so getting seventh might not be the end of the world although some people although some people would describe getting into the europa conference league as the end of the world so not me though i need it and to be honest if i can knock it off early that would be ideal. So if these boys can put in just one performance, just for, not for me, viewers, actually, because I've seen some. For you, this is for them. So do you know what? I'll leave. Do it for them. If, if Clearly, I'm a problem. So I'll just go. Tell you what, your view's terrible from over there, isn't it? Yeah, I can't really see anything, to be honest. Um, you can barely see a thing. Just the edges. I, I, I can sort of see the, yeah, I can see the edges. Yeah. But yeah, it's difficult. Very difficult. I just make it up most of the time. If that had gone in, I'd have lost my mind. Oh, a little, little bit of possession there, viewers. Look at that. Declan Rice over the top. Go on, Isaac. Go on. Chris Wood's there. Find him. Find him. Find him. Chris Wood. Yes, I was here the whole time. I was here the whole time. Get in. It was me. I did it. It was me. Come on, viewers. Yes. Mum, it's 1-0. It's 1-0. Now we're talking, aren't we? Now we're talking. Now we're, now we're in the room all of a sudden. Hello. Isaac chips it across. There's Chris Wood, a poacher in the box. We love him. We love him. Oh, my God. Yes, we're back. Now we're talking. Again, I don't want 1-0, though, boys. Push up. Come on, four. At least four. 
Brentford throw in. Uh, played sort of in and across. And, oh, we're fine. Are we fine? That's not a very good header. Another one, please. No, don't. Please don't. Please don't. Tony, on it from there. Difficult angle. Oh, my God. They've hit the post. I'll just sort of... I think I'm better off here, to be honest. Just as a point of reference. In fact, it's a good job it's on an arm. So I can sort of covertly be here. I don't know if many creators do videos where they're sort of not really on the screen. But, <laughs> you know, first... Innovative, if anything. I've told them mums delighted. They weren't... They weren't... They weren't delighted. All right, Isaac's got a bit of an... <sighs> On, just two seconds. Isaac's got a knock. He's coming off. Joel Linton's coming on. Things really have got mad when Joel Linton and Chris Wood are now the defensive, sorry, defensive, offensive duo. Unbelievable. Oh, right, no, let's risk it. Let's just, let's just, I'll just stay. Okay, everything, look, just be confident. Be so confident. I've had the wrong overlay on this whole time. So that's good. Oh, oh my, did you miss it? VAR. Chris Wood's been felled, viewers. So I think it's going to be, it might be a penalty kick here. How chaotic has today been? I've been using the wrong view for most of it, which has been confusing for everybody. I've been watching a stream, I've been watching a video. Either way, chaotic. As, uh, yeah, penalty's been awarded. And Chris Wood, of all people, he's, he's a goal machine. He's the goal machine, viewers. Chris Wood, goal machine. There it is, look. There it is. He's still on it. It's not, he's not, the chance isn't. Okay, for God's sake, Chris. I don't know what I'm more annoyed about. The fact that I've been using the wrong view for most of this video, or that Chris Wood's missed a penalty. Uh, ball played in. McAllister heads away. There's Joel Linton. Oh yes, Joel. That was uh, that was that was class, right? In fact, Joel Linton, based on Joel Linton's sort of newfound life, pressing forward. I think so. He hasn't got quite the running that someone like Isaac or Callum Wilson's got, but of course he's got the you know, the intelligence to play in these forward areas. There's Declan Rice, Chris Wood with the hold up play, and now Target off to set Maximin again. There's lots of players in the middle again. This attacking showcase we're putting on right now plays back to Rice again. Challenge comes in. The attacking showcase has prematurely ended i would say before again you know bruno there's McAllister. oh my he's at the post blimey G good effort though by all means god i didn't want a one nil did i that was uh that's not what we ordered McAllister over the top there's joel linton oh my god the keeper's made a mess of it joel linton he can't score from there oh my god it's one of the worst attempts of all time mum do you know anyone that will buy joel linton <sighs> god's sake should be at least falling up here. That's what, and that's what I ordered. There's Declan Rice back to target. Can he get the ball in the middle now? Can he target back to Bruno Gamares? I mean, McAllister goes for it. Oh my God, he's destroyed the net and the goalkeeper with all the emotions of Brentford fans everywhere. It's Newcastle two, it's Brentford nil. And I feel alive, viewers. We're going to finish eighth. Come on, this is good now. It feels, you know how good this feels, viewers? Not just, not just for me, just for every, everyone should be happy. I just smiled then. Even you've smiled. I mean, you see what I mean? We're in again here, are we? Another another goal, perhaps? Edge of the box. Let's target from left back. Dan Burn, don't you shoot from there. Declan Rice. Oh, my God, what effort. If it carries on like this, I will have to sit down. Deary me. There we are then. Newcastle 2. Brentford 0. They've had one shot on target all game. Embarrassing. I shouldn't be calling anyone embarrassing. So... Should probably stop that right now. It hasn't got to notice that Chris Wood is doing better than the data would suggest in terms of XG. What's your angle on it? My angle on it, he's a god. All right then, we again, we're, we're, we're climbing a little bit. If Arsenal lose again, Isaac's out for a few days with a pulled groin, we could be in for a If Basically, viewers, if Arsenal win, then it's over, right? But if Arsenal don't win, I'll be seeing you tomorrow where all of a sudden things could get very, very tasty. And out of nowhere, viewers, the board are delighted with my class. What a turn up for the books. Amanda, come here, Amanda. So we're guaranteed top half now. I mean, wow. Look at, look at us. With the winning against Brentford, actually, we've, we've sort of done it to them. Well, a successful season. Uh, if Arsenal lose here, oh, for that, put, put some effort in West Ham. Come on. To be fair, I took Declan Rice. So if anyone's fault is, is to be had there, it's mine. And actually, it's Tottenham that now just four points the gap. Who do Tottenham play then at the very end of the season? Fulham and Brentford. Well, I'll tell you what, viewers, the season review coming up is going to be good. Let me tell you. What I'll probably do is play against Palace, and then we'll just see what happens against Bournemouth. And then we'll sort of do a post-season recap before looking ahead to the summer transfer special, which I'm very much looking forward to. What's happened to my face and mouth? But that's going to conclude today. Another exciting episode of Glory Hunter in the books. Please do leave a like if you are enjoying it. I will see you again very, very soon for a whole lot more of this. Maybe even a more, maybe another win. Maybe, can we do more wins? Not against the rules. Oh, even, even he said maybe jesus take care everybody until next time thank you goodbye what the hell was that what am i doing Dude, that's a foul throw in it